Hi, I'm Sam Hamner, a PhD student at Stanford and a member of the OpenSim project. Today I'm going to show you how to get started with the scale tool in OpenSim. The scale tool allows you to change the size and mass of a model so that it matches a specific subject you've measured in the lab. Scaling is typically done by comparing an, an experimental marker set with virtual markers placed on a model. So I've already loaded a generic musculoskeletal model into OpenSim, and you'll notice it has some pink markers around it which represent a virtual marker set I've created based on the marker set we used during our experiment. Now I'll go ahead and launch the scale tool by going over to Tools and selecting Scale Model. This opens up a scale tool dialog box. Now I'll go ahead and um, load a settings file that I've already saved for one of my subjects by clicking on settings, load settings, and then selecting the file. This fills the scale tool dialog with some key pieces of information. First, we've specified the mass of our subject which we measured during the trial. We've also specified the file that contains the uh, marker data from the static trial we collected of our subject. This is actually specified in two spots. First here under scale model, which means that this data is going to be used to calculate the scale factors for each of the segments in the model. And then here under adjust model markers, which means this data is going to be used to calculate the static pose or configuration that our subject was in during the static trial. So now if we click over on the scales factor tab, you'll notice that I've specified a set of measurements used to calculate scale factors for each of the segments in the model. For example, the tibia, for the tibia segment, I've specified a pair of markers that I placed on the knee and the ankle, which I can identify by bony landmarks both on my subject and on the model. The scale tool will then compare the experimental and virtual markers to calculate that scale factor. And this has been repeated here for each of the segments in the model. Now if we click over onto the static pose weights tab, we'll see a list of markers that will be used to put our model in the same pose that, as, that we recorded our subject in during the static trial. And similar to the scale factors, here again I'm only going to select markers that I can place on bony landmarks, like the left and right acromion, which are bony landmarks on the shoulder. So we're almost ready to run the scale tool, and the last thing we want to do is go back to our original settings tab and select this checkbox at the bottom labeled preview static pose. This is a very important step when using the scale tool because it will allow us to visualize our results so that we can make sure we've accurately scaled our model. And to see what that looks like, check out our next video where I'll explain how to visualize and evaluate results when using the scale tool.